Dear Diary, one day I want to be popular. <laughs> All right, this is not me complaining about being popular because I genuinely love all the people I get to interact with and all the fans that text me and it's, it's honestly really cool and I should be grateful that I get to have it. But there are times when I'm literally so busy I forget to eat or text people back. So I'm gonna talk about it because it's honestly a problem. When I was younger, all I wanted to be was like the popular kids. You know, those kids with like the newest tech and clothes. They looked super cool. The hair was always brushed. It was awesome. I wanted to be them. I thought they were something out of a storybook. I don't know. I don't know why I was so obsessed with them. I just wanted to be one of them, honestly. Basically, if kids didn't have used clothes and they were like from Walmart or something, I thought they were the coolest person ever because all of my clothes came thrifted. I, I thrifted before it was cool, I'm just saying. But I didn't have high standards as a kid. Literally, you could show up in any type of clothing that wasn't from Goodwill and I would think you were the coolest person on planet Earth. Now, I would try to fit in and learn all the newest words I could, even try to be funny here and there, but nothing got me into the popular table at lunch. They just sounded so cool going to parties and concerts that I just wanted to be like them. And honestly, I don't even know if they actually went to parties and concerts because I never talked to them and never asked them. I just assumed that's what cool people did. <laughs> Bro, did you hear that Candace went to come and go the other day? <laughs> I know, right? Eventually I got older as one does and stopped caring about being popular because being popular seemed like just too much work and I didn't want to put in the effort. So I just became a recluse and lived my life on YouTube videos and animating on my knockoff tablet. It was awesome. I enjoyed it, it was great. It really wasn't until I was in my 20s that things started to get busier. Ironically, by me trying not to be popular, I became the most popular I had ever been. I didn't go to college, so I had to find friends out in the wild. And for a person who can't even talk to the cashier at the grocery store, this was a pretty daunting task. Like if the cashier at the grocery store does not follow a specific script, I panic. And the thing is that that person doesn't know the script, only I know the script. But if they don't follow it, ooh, things go bad. <laughs> I did manage to acquire a few friends here and there, and then eventually I did move to a new town and found some more. But things didn't start to pick up until I posted one single video on Instagram, and oh boy, did the internet make me feel small in this big world. Suddenly it felt like my DMs were always full, and by always full I mean that like more than one person was texting me at a time, which was just terrifying to me. And I didn't know what to say to these people. I rolled a good old negative 100 in the socialization department, and I literally don't know any social cues. So this was like seriously uncharted waters for me. I did not know what to do. Eventually I grew more comfortable commenting back to people and answering their questions. And I managed to make a few great creative friends there too. One by one, new friends joined my contact list and aided in my overflowing notification list, but hey, they're worth it. I did however notice a downside to the popular life and that was trying to keep up with everybody. School made it so easy to maintain friendships. You're locked with these people for seven plus hours in usually a single room. So either you're going to become great friends or you're gonna become enemies. There's no in between. Stupid Candace and her come and go cup. But when it comes to becoming an adult, it's like a friendship becomes a houseplant and you're always trying to keep it alive. But I don't have a very good green thumb and I forget to water things a lot. <laughs> I get a lot of notifications and most of the time I can't answer them right away either because I'm busy or I'm just distracted by something. So they end up collecting dust on my phone and I wanna answer them, but I get overwhelmed by how many messages there are that I just close my phone and run from it like it's gonna explode. I don't know, maybe I'm just the only one who feels like this, but I didn't learn how to socialize. The best I got was countless hours of role play Minecraft servers and the occasional YouTube comment section. I am not a well-educated socialized person. So trying to maintain all these houseplants of friendships well became unrealistic. Some plants thrived while others collected dust or died out. Some friendships are like cactuses. You, like, you cannot see the person for a while, but the friendship always survives. While other friendships, well, it doesn't take a lot for them to die. I can only handle so much and I had to learn it's not supposed to all be on one person either. To maintain a friendship, it takes two people. So if only one person is pouring all their time into a relationship and the other person doesn't really care for it, it's gonna die out. Now, that's not saying friendships can't rekindle or anything, but it's something to be aware of that sometimes friendships come and go. And sometimes it's hard to let go of some friends who have moved on because I really liked making memories with them and it's really hard to just let it go and move on. But everyone is constantly growing and learning and we grow in and out of friendships. And who knows, I may not be this popular forever. So I'm gonna enjoy this garden of people while I had the opportunity for it. I was trying to make something sound really heartfelt. It didn't work. I'm gonna enjoy it while I have it. Cause after all, the seasons don't last forever. So I may as well enjoy it while I have it. That was a really sappy ending. 
I thought this video was gonna be hilarious all the way around, but wow, look at that. We're learning lessons together. Usually I record my outros after I edit stuff so that way I know what's going on and maybe to be more consistent, but I know that I'm not gonna come back to it and I'm not gonna upload an outro sound, so this is the best you're going to get. Uh, I have a store. If you wanna support me, that would be awesome. I, I don't, but you, didn't, you can just like this video if you don't wanna pay money, it's okay, I don't need money. I just, I like sharing my art with you. I'm very awkward about this. I have no social skills, we already know this. Okay, bye. <laughs>